ionising radiation. In the middle of every atom, there's a nucleus. This is the small collection of protons and neutrons that make up the vast majority of the mass of the mostly empty atom. Now, if you've ever tried to push two like-poled magnets together, or forced me to watch The Big Bang Theory, you know that that's a pretty tough job and generally doesn't end well. All the protons in the nucleus are positively charged, and they don't really like to be next to each other. In order for them to coexist peacefully, there need to be some particles to spread them out a bit like putting some card between the light pole magnets or a screen in front of the telly so I can't actually see the Big Bang Theory. In the nucleus, the particles which do the padding are the neutrons, particles with no charge. Now this uneasy balance can lead to disaster and the nucleus has to reconfigure itself in order for it to be less tense in there. These reconfigurements are radiation and actually can change the element itself. Firstly, if we have too many like charged particles crammed together, we can simply have some of those particles fly off. When two protons and two neutrons, which is also the nucleus of a helium atom, is ejected from the nucleus, we call this alpha radiation. Now this is a big heavy brute of a particle and can't actually penetrate much, just like an obese person isn't going to run very far. Therefore, it has low penetrating power and is easily stopped by air or paper. It's for this reason that it's used in smoke alarms. A radioactive source is placed across a small air gap. When the smoke fills it from a fire, the other particles are now stopped by that smoke, don't cross the gap, don't complete the electrical circuit, and the, alarm smart, and the alarm will sound. This low penetrating power is also coupled with high ionising power. If you think of that obese person sprinting towards you, although they might not run far, when they hit you, it will hurt. The big alpha particle can knock electrons from the outside of atoms and turn them into charged ions. If they do this to atoms in your cells or in your DNA, they could mutate them and cause cancer, or just kill them outright and make you die of horrible radiation poisoning. The second way I could resolve my nuclear problem is that if I happen to have too many neutrons, in this case, a neutron would change into a proton and emit an electron from the nucleus. This is called beta radiation. Now, This process is actually very complex and uh, it caused physics quite a large headache for, for a while. Um, but all that's required at GCSE is to know that a beta particle can be thought of as an electron from the nucleus, which is, a, which is caused by a neutron changing into a proton. So for nuclei which undergo beta radiation, the element, the atomic number of that element is going to go up by one and actually change the element. Now this electron is more dainty than the helium nucleus alpha particle and so has higher penetrating power. This time you'll need something like aluminium to stop it. It does however have lower ionising abilities and will cause less damage to your cells. However, it's still not exactly a holiday. The final way to adjust my nucleus is to move things around a bit. I haven't changed the particles in the nucleus, but just the way that they're laid out. Like when you have a nice spring clean and afterwards everyone feels a little bit calm and a little bit more relaxed. This rejiggling releases a high energy electromagnetic wave, just like light, made of the same thing. Now this is a gamma ray, and accordingly this radiation is called gamma radiation. Now because this isn't a particle per se, it's hard to stop and has high penetrating power. Only thick lead will actually bring it down. Because of that though, it is the weakest ionizer. It's less uh, likely to knock those electrons off of those atoms and cause some damage. So in short then, there are three main types of ionizing radiation, alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha is a helium nucleus of two protons and two neutrons with low penetrating power, being easily stopped by paper, skin or the air, and high ionisation ability. Beta is an electron from the nucleus with high penetrating power, requiring aluminium to stop it, but lower ionisation ability. Gamma is an electromagnetic wave that's hard to stop, so it has high penetrating power, requiring thick lead but also the lowest ionisation power. All three can cause you harm by knocking out electrons from the atoms in your body to cause cancer 
or kill you slash the cell.